All right, well, here's an update video. I gotta give you some uh, news. I am stopping the project of the 23 centimeter, 1296 megahertz Yagi that I was home brewing. Uh, I admit defeat. When you guys say it's not gonna work uh, because of this, or it's gonna be very hard to tune, well, you guys are right. And uh, it's not a lost cause. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one. So I'm gonna buy one from antennas-amplifiers.com. They got a 36 element. It's like, I don't know, it's a 100 watt uh, antenna. And it's like 185 bucks. I guess so I'm gonna get one of those I'm gonna use this boom to make my UHF Yagi that I wanted to make instead of the six meter boom over there and I'm going to eliminate this 3d printing idea and go right through the boom for the UHF uh, I still have with no caps on there and um, that way it's a Yagi like the one that I used for the first moon bounce, but not circular polarized, just a straight up horizontal. So that's what, so it's not wasted. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then on this one, this one here is my old six meter Yagi. Uh, so I said I was gonna use that to make the antenna. I'm gonna use that and make it a six meter Yagi. Um, it was a four element loop fed. I'm gonna turn that into just a six meter. Um, I have a two, ow. I have a 220 here. I mean, not 220, two meter here. And uh, so that I'll have six meters. So I'll have several antennas. So actually this is the ICOM 471A UHF. I did power it up. Uh, I bought a oh, plug for it and powered it up. It does come on and the ROM board is good. So the frequency is good. I'm gonna put some testing on that. So that, that I think does 25 watts. Mm. And as I said, this one here, I'm going to be making or trying to make a um, uh, computer interface from, you know, a very basic computer interface from like a five volt logic, an RS-232, just for uh, transmitting and then audio from there back to the radio for receiving. So I could use that on 23 centimeters. And I got some parts here, like this is a um, opto isolator. So I could use this on uh, RTS and ground pins on a DB9 with um, like the cable I have here, which is a USB TTL cable here and some pins here for the Molex connector that I 3D printed for the back of the ICOM 1271. Just like I said, for PTT ground. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use, like I got an eight pin microphone uh, jacks here. I'm gonna use that for the audio uh, in, and then audio out from the speaker out. Also, there's an audio out somewhere else in the connector, which is like line level or something. So I'll figure it out. I'm gonna try to at least get this thing to, transmit and receive um, with a software because if not I can't use it for uh, digital modes at all for a moon bounce, moon bounce attempt so yeah before I get struck by lightning out here um, hope everybody has a great Memorial Day weekend um, you know when when you start throwing this thing across the yard at eight foot it's not fun anymore and uh, the tuning is so crucial I mean I spent hundreds of grams of, of 3d PLA plus just to try to come up with different feed point ideas went folded dipole style went straight style you know matches and stuff dude I can't get I couldn't get this thing to do anything that I wanted it to do um, so and I mean I'm not gonna mess with it anymore those will pop right off all those pieces and uh, I will use that for a whole nother uh, whole nother antenna like I said this one I'll make UHF uh, flat UHF horizontal and then that one over there I'll use to make another six meter which is just going to be for terrestrial of course not six meters for moon bounce and then uh, yeah I'll have plenty of Yakis to play with and plenty of projects so uh, thanks for all the helpful ideas and uh, sorry I, I can that project but I'll be ordering that antenna soon I'm gonna go through my closet I got some stuff I'm selling that I don't need um, so if you look on my Facebook page, I'm going to start listing some radios and put some, uh, put some things into other places, you know, other monies. Uh, maybe I'll get a parabolic dish, who knows? 
Seven three.